Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So about six weeks ago, my friend Kimmy sent me some friend mail and in the lovely parcel of goodies was this here. So she sent me the 12 by 12 and the six by six. And this is the Hydrangea Lawns by Dress My Craft. Now I'd never heard of Dress My Craft before, so I had a little look and there are, there are a really lovely paper craft company based in India, but they have a very distinctive style. Their dyes are pink. They have everything you can think of that you would need for your paper crafting. So it was really nice to be introduced to a new brand and something a little bit different. So I made a couple of projects, I've shared them on social media. And then a lady called Shalini from Dress My Craft got in contact with me and asked if I'd like to have a look at some product on their website and share it with you guys here. So if you haven't heard of them, and again this is new for you as well, check all the links that I've got below because they are on Hachanda in the UK. They sell and ship, I believe, worldwide, and their, their rates are really good, and their prices are really competitive as well. They're on all your social media platforms, so again, I'll link all of that kind of thing below, and go and check them out. Tell me what you think. So this is the one I've already got, and I would have shared this, like I said, about six weeks ago. I did do the unboxing of that friend mail for this one here, but it's gorgeous. Just give you a little quick look. One of my favourites. Look at these. Absolutely stunning. And the thing I love about their papers is that they are 240 GSM. Don't say it on this one, it says it on the other one, but they are, they're really thick and they're just, they're, they're beautiful. Really, really lovely. So I was really excited to get what I've got. So first of all, I chose these punches. Now they have all of the sizes in between as well. So they've got a two, I've got the two and a half, I've got the one and a half, and I've got the 1.25. Now the reason I didn't get the one is because I already have a one and I already have a two. So now with those mixed with these, I've got a nice set. Plus these are scalloped. So when you sit this against a, a circle one, it just it has a really, really lovely look. So I was, <laughs> it was so nice to have the two and a half because when you want to do you know something quick and you need you know about 20 circles which is usually me when I'm making a mini album or I'm doing a commission piece or something I need you know speed this is quicker than anything it's quicker than your cutting machines it's quicker than die cutting you just there boom 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 done and these have got that lovely scallop detail so it was nice to receive this one here I always usually take the plastics off but I'll leave them on for the minute so that's the 2.5 then here is the, the 1.5, so again exactly the same with the scallop detail and then and that's the 1.25 and just so you can see here, you punch multiple very quick and then they all just slide out. Oh that one I obviously overlapped there, we'll ignore that one but look at these, really nice quick decorative circles and that's the same with these ones, Same, exactly the same shape just different sizes so they're perfect to layer over the top actually let me just do that one and see how they look you wouldn't necessarily do the same colors but it will give you an idea okay so there's that one over the top and if you imagine you put some like foam in between and then you could put that on top again but then with my two that is just the, the plain round circle without the detail will look really nice in between that as well so yeah really really pleased with them so that's my three punches and you'll see these feature in my videos then I got this border punch here which is the scallop border punch and these border punches are great for just you know giving your cards a nice decorative edge so or the top of a gift bag so you just sit them in anywhere it doesn't really matter punch you see you get that lovely detail and then you just move it along until it lines up within these here. These are your little markers. So you just line it up. You need to make sure it lies flush there. And then you just keep moving it along however many. If you miss one, you just move it back one. So I'll probably, I think I've gone too far, so I'm just going to go back one there. Make sure this all stays nice and flush. And just keep working your way along. It's got a really nice crisp cut. And there's that detail there. Lovely, isn't it? So that's this one again. It catches all your mess in the back. You can just then throw that in the bin. So that's that one. And then this one here, this is your corner and notch punch. So for this one, I'll just get some fresh cards. Let's do this side here. So this is your corner. So it gives you a nice round corner there. My other corner punch is actually on its way out. I, I sharpen it and everything. So this is quite nice to have to replace that. 
There you go, you can see you just get nice rounded edges. And then this one here is your notch. So how does this one work? So does that just go in? Oh, I guess that goes in flat there. Ah, ah, so you can make envelopes with this. It's the same notch that you get from an envelope, but that is also perfect for doing a thumb, thumb part. So that's good. Yeah, but it, it cuts perfectly. It's got a really, really nice, yeah, nice sharp cut that you get there. So that's another handy piece. I'm glad I got that one. And then all the excess just comes out the bottom there. Then under their embellishments, I think it is, they have some really, really fun things. Now this is loads of tiny pieces of um, candy cane, like discs. Have I just, oh, don't want to lose that one there. I just spread them out there. You see all of those. They're really nice. They're going to look lovely in shaker cards, but also just as embellishments, a little bit of glue just on your cards stuck down. I think they look really, really fun. And they're going to be nice for Christmas as well as, you know, birthdays all year round. So these ones here are called, love the little jars, Carnival Candies. So yeah, I think they're, and they've got lots of other nice different designs as well. But I saw the candies, I thought I haven't got anything like that. Um, and I know they're going to get used. So yeah, just really, really cute little like tub there to keep it all in. And then these, they do a variety of sizes, but I went for the mixed bag to start off with just to see which ones I like. But they are basically, they're droplets. So they're, I believe, yeah, they're just, I think they're plastic. Let me... Take it out, you get 150 in this pack, clear water droplets. And if you're someone like me that likes to do underwater theme projects, then these are gonna be such a nice little embellishment to add. But look how real they look. They look, they really do look like water droplets. Again, you see these things online and it says it and you think, oh, okay, well, I'll try them. But they really, really do. They're flat back, so they're easy to, glue. I imagine I'll probably use my Kalal glue because that dries clear anyway. But look at that, it looks like I've got water droplets on my hand. So you get a variety of size, you can buy a pack of just that size, you can buy a pack of the larger ones and so on. So if, you know, if you do decide that you just want it all the same size you can. But I thought I'm going to go for the mix because I quite like having that variety. Um, oh gosh, I've heard one go on the floor. So we'll put those in a little jar. Then I picked up some of their white 12 by 12 cardstock. So this is 285 GSM. And I just thought, I don't tend to use a lot of white 12 by 12 because I don't really have it. But when I saw they've got a 285 GSM, which means it's really nice and strong, this is gonna be nice for gift bags and boxes. It's acid and lingam free, so it's perfect for your scrapbooking as well. Eco-friendly paper, premium white cardstock. So you get 10 sheets there, so I've got that pack. And then the fun stuff. So I've got this bundle here. So I've got the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 and this is called Christmas Bells. It's got a more of a vintage feel to it. It reminds me a little bit of like Stamperia, um, maybe a little bit of Graphic 45 but without the black. It's got that kind of feel about it. Now this here is your motif sheets and on here you get two of these thick card with just all of your i guess yeah you just need to cut these out if you've got a brother scan and cut you can scan this through and cut it cut for you these are great they're easy to cut and then you can cut around all of these pieces they make nice tags i love the father christmas i think he's got such a nice look about him and the tree and then on this side here you've got all these baubles but you've also got these lovely black and white images look at these here all these stars. I've got some really nice ideas on how I'm going to use this collection. And then, oh, wait till you see the images. So I'll show you on the 12 by 12 because it's easier to see. So these are, I guess they're predominantly scrapbook layout pages, but you can easily change these. For example, there's two of each page. They're very, very thick. This will make a beautiful gift box with that image on the front. Oh, I've got some lovely, lovely ideas. So when you see these kind of things, look at them to be maybe a gift bag front or a gift box, because it will work really, really well, but also perfect for a scrapbook layout. You put a nice photo there, family Christmas, a couple of little sentiments and the page is done. But also you could cut this out and put it on front of a card as well. But you can see that it's got a slight shine to it and it's really lovely, strong card. It's all single-sided. So you get two of that one 
Then you've got this one here. Again, really nice images. I am going to do most of my Christmas um, scrapbook layouts will be using this as well. So you'll see both sides of it really. So you get two of that one. This one here, another beautiful one. And then that one, that's going to make a lovely gift bag. Be really nice. And then I've got some lovely big dies that could go in the middle there. Like if you die cut it in gold, big Merry Christmas in the center. It's going to look beautiful. Can't wait. And then this one here, so another one. Just love the backgrounds. And then look, really, really lovely Santa. He's got such a great look. He's got a lovely face. Just think it's, yeah, really, really nice. So that's those two. And you can see the stars here, and they're the same stars that are on the motifs. And then we've got this one here with just the Christmas hat. And then this one here, which is all framed. Can't wait to do some lovely layouts on this. It's going to look really, really nice. But again, you could cut that out. Perfect for gift bags, gift boxes, as I've already said. Love this one. Love the black and white images there. Just think that's really nice. Great for all your mixed media as well. You can put this in a shadow box and have all the, you know, little knickknacks with it, all Christmas themed baubles and things like that. And then this one here, got a really old vintage deer, which is sweet there. It's like a 1960s, almost like the baby sham style. That's another nice image there as well. And then this one, again, lovely for a gift, bar, um, gift box. That's going to look really nice, actually, so I'll probably be doing that. And at the back here, you have all these pieces that you can cut out, so they make perfect gift tags. It's just elements from all the pages, just in small little pieces there. So they're going to look really sweet. And that's the last page. So that's the lovely Christmas bells. And then my absolute favourite is this one here, which is Little Miracle. It just reminds me of my childhood. There's so many parts of this that remind me of a wallpaper I had, or maybe just like it was on the side of my pram. I had a, on the side of my pram when I was a little girl, it was a duck very similar to this. Um, and it was the silver cross, is it? Those ones with the big wheels. Yeah, there's a picture of me in it anyway. And it's just that kind of thing. It's the very, you know, 70s, 80s kind of um, images here and even earlier some of them as well when you see them it's gorgeous so this is your again motif motif sheet look at the little cute face and these are just so nice and then the cat absolutely gorgeous just love it you see there in the tub <laughs> with the little sailor's hat and then on this side here and there's these dolls that my mum and dad had. My dad brought them for my mum when they first started dating. And they've got really big heads and little bodies. Again, they've got a name. Some of you will probably say it in the comments. But it just reminds me of all of that kind of stuff growing up. And I just absolutely love it. Look how cute. These are going to make beautiful cards for not just the new arrival of a baby, just baby cards. It's not something I make a lot of, but I do get people asking me for them. So I need to make like a wad of them so I can just keep them at hand. And then when people ask, I've got them ready. And I think these are gonna go down really well. So that's that one. And then again, you get the six by six, 12 by 12. If you want, you can buy the six by six separate or buy the 12 by 12, it's entirely up to you. But look at this, so there's the first one. For baby with best wishes. Gorgeous, how would that look in a gift bag? With a big blue bow and just, oh, amazing. Always gotta have polka dots. Whenever there's a baby pad, there's always polka dots. So that's always nice. And then this one here, I just adore. It's like they're postcards. There's that little face again. So it's all those images all, around, all over the page. Really, really beautiful. And then, this one here, so it just has a mix of words. You've got nursing, stroller, baby, sweet pea, rattle, lullaby, diapers, a bit more American, this one, swaddle, um, high chair, bottle, pacifier. Yeah, definitely, because ours would be nappies and dummy. <laughs> Crib, ours would be the cot. There's all sorts there. I'm probably missing some bottle. No, I think I've got oh bundle of joy, stroller. So ours would be pram. Still lovely though. I love it. I really, really do. So you get two of those, and you get this one here. Look, Aww. they're so cute. And then this is my favourite. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite. I absolutely love it. 
it's going to be one of those ones that I just look at for a while because I don't know what I want to use it on yet. It's going to be used on something that I keep for myself. That's what I always do with my favourite papers is I either, you know, I probably will do some kind of album with it. I think that's going to look really nice. Or I won't do a scrapbook page. It's going to be, I think, a mini album. So it's just too lovely. And then this one here, Welcome to the Family. Really, really nice. I'm going to make a lot of flat, fold flat gift bags because they're going to be perfect. And then this one here, it's just got the alphabet. So it's the alphabet here and then these, just a mix of the polka dot colours really. Great for backgrounds. And then there's the other colour of polka dot. Perfect. So that can be used for all sorts, doesn't have to obviously be with the new baby. And there's the, they're like your um, typewriter key letters. So that's nice. And again, that can be used, that's actually could be used for a masculine themed, you know, project. Because there's nothing really on that that makes me think of, you know, baby. And I'm looking at, there's nothing spelled out. I can't see any baby related words. I can't even see any words actually. So if you do see something, let me know. But um, I don't think it is. And then this one here, love the stripes. Really, really sweet. And then the best, oh, look at all this. So this is, again, the whole album is perfect for a mini album for a new baby because you've got Baby's First Smile. If you're going to do something for their first year, first, um, first set of toys, first bed, Baby's First Shoes, first food, first picnic, whatever you want there, Baby's First Teddy, you've got that lovely little rabbit, another one for you to write what you want, Baby's First Word and Baby's First Birthday. It's just wonderful. It really, really is lovely. Now they also do a baby boy specific and a baby girl specific. This one is a mix and they've got, they've got so many other lovely paper pads as well. So do go and have a little look, even if it's just for some inspiration, you know, on their Facebook pages and so on, because it's, yeah, I'm really glad that I now know of this brand because they've certainly, I don't know, given me some things that I don't, you know, I don't have. I don't have the candies, don't have the water droplets, didn't have those punches, and these papers are very different to what I've got, and I just, oh, I adore it. So there you have it, and my little droplets there as well, which I'm going to put into a little jar. It's wonderful product, it really is. It's good quality, it's original, and the prices are great as well. And like I said, I love that their dyes are pink, so hopefully I'm going to get some dyes next time, because I'd like to try them out. They also do... Um, a lot of the foam Iranian, so if that's something that you like, they've got a really nice range of product for that kind of thing as well, so go check that out. But yeah, hope you like it, let me know what you think. Check out the links below and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.